good morning y'all um today's thursday another early morning not as early as i would like to be but i'm here all right so today's message is peace now we're not talking about peace or peace we're talking about that energy or the spirit of peace okay now peace why is peace so important well peace is important because in this world we have to find some kind of way to maneuver or cope with the things that goes on in this world there are a lot of peaceful unpeaceful things happening um for instance the number one thing is the pandemic the shutdown the lockdown the job loss the sickness the death those are unpeaceful things that are happening and there are people who are affected by it who are not peaceful who are at who are not at peace and um to have peace on this world inside yourself is very important all right so um for the ones who have lost a loved one a friend still loved one to the coronavirus um first of all my condolences to you and you are the type of person who may need peace at this moment some um peace and understanding but first peace to get to the understanding you have to um unfortunately accept what is going on right now because it's no reversing uh you still have to live though your loved one may be gone and your loved one is not gone their soul is just you know gone their body is gone but their soul still lives okay nobody truly actually dies um they are asleep i like to say sleep their soul does not die your loved one has not died they're asleep they're away right now okay so it's up to you to have peace on earth and to keep making it and to um see it through until it is your time to go okay so peace how do we get peace well first we get peace by quieting ourselves collecting our thoughts um, um you know accepting trying to accept things that are happening in your life you have to accept in order to get peace try to accept what's going on in your life okay death has to understand life um people die you know you come here to live a, a a life you're sent here to live a life some of us have hard lives um some of us die of uh, sicknesses some of us die of old their age some of us die to violence you know just different things but um you are sent here to live a life and we are equipped with things like love peace you know the the character the inner characteristics of ourselves when we stick to those characteristics those in it like joy love peace you know stuff like that that's how we in a way cope with or survive or deal with the things that happens here on top of other things you know but this is the most important part your spiritual part when you get your spiritual part in line your humanity uh has a more understanding and a more of acceptance and a more you know a different way of looking at things that happen all right so the ones who have lost anyone due to this pandemic or virus i pray that god equips you with peace and understanding but peace first so you will not mourn for a long time but celebrate and um, aim to be uh, in a better place where they may have went, you know? Uh, okay, so let's talk about jobless, where people have no jobs at the moment, and my family members are affected by that as well. But uh, peace. Some of you needed this break from the public, uh, from getting worn out by your jobs, from getting cussed out by people, just from, you know, being away from your kids, being away from home, not being able to do home duties or doing, you know, doing stuff for yourself. Some of us work 80 hours plus a week. I mean, um, every two weeks or maybe a week, whatever your situation, some of us was working too hard to where we had no peace. We forgot who we were. We lost ourselves in corporate or in jobs and we became who they wanted us to be, whether it was stress or just, you know, a slave to the dollar. Some of you have lost your peace due to uh, providing for your family or just working so much just to, you know, keep the lights on. And um, some of you needed this break and I feel like some of you need to look at this as you needed this break 
uh, though the situation at hand may look difficult to where you see like you need money well your peace uh, is more important than the money. Let me give you an example. So I got pregnant March 2018 and I was working at the bank and I was making good money. But with that good money came stress. It came people, you know how people are about their money, you know, you know how the public is. It came public, the public, where you getting cursed out, people ready to fight, uh, people calling out your name, or you just dealing with manager management or co-works in general. So it was not a very peaceful job. So um, when I had a baby, I was able to do home care and take care of my sister and watch my baby where um, I didn't feel comfortable leaving her at a daycare, especially the things that go on today. That's why I said some of you are called to do certain things while people are being trained to do what you're called to do because if you're called to be in that daycare, and it's not just to be called to be at the daycare, it's just called to be around those babies because you are going to protect them more than somebody who's trained, not in all cases, but the one who may be trained may not really be there for the kids just for a check. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so I was making money at the bank, but I got pregnant. Now, I'm the one where I was ready to argue with any and whoever. You know, not all the time, but when I had enough, it was enough. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't afford to do that with my baby, you know, because some people don't care. So I took a pay cut, like a pay cut, to be able to sit home with my baby and raise her so I can have peace, to give her a good childhood, a peaceful pregnancy. And I am thank God for being able to set that situation up for me because that just came out of nowhere, you know. God knows best. So even though I took a pay cut, um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it like I was before because I was making more money, but that's not the case. You know, it's true. He will never leave you nor forsake you. If you're, if you believe, if you believe wholeheartedly and you just keep going with your faith and just keep living your life, you will be all right. You know, I'm, you will be all right. I've been doing this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? It's no genie situation it's no magic there are hard times there are good times but it's just the feeling of peace that that comes with this like even though i took a pay cut and i was like you know oh you know less money coming in the house but i was still happy that i could be there with my baby i didn't have to worry about fighting anybody while i was pregnant with my baby or somebody trying to fight me because people like that because of my baby you know what i'm saying because i had a baby so again i took a some of you are out of work to get your peace of mind back. This won't last forever. Um, maybe this is just to get your attention for yourself. It's not so much of the world. It's for the individuals. Maybe this was for a lot of people to wake up, to start appreciating life more. You know, when things, this came, like, life did a 360. And there were people before who weren't appreciate, appreciating each other, appreciating appreciating their job, appreciating their life, appreciating their money, appreciating their mother, their father, their aunt. So, you know, I feel like this is kind of a wake-up call for a lot of people. But you still must find that peace and then understanding so you can keep going, all right? What's another thing that's happening? Um, There are a lot of programs and stuff they happen in they're opening uh for people to help with rental assistance okay i'm from philly so i know that check your website for your city your city um your city portal over here they're helping people pay their rent or trying to help people uh, applications to see who qualified to see if they can help pay their rent okay but still it's not about it's not about the money y'all it's about you don't worry about what's going on in the world for a moment worry about you what is it that you need to get together? Maybe it's some things that you need to do and that you haven't been doing it. And this is your time to find you, okay? Peace. This is just for peace. You guys just need peace. Everything will go back, maybe not to the way it was, but hopefully it'll go to be better. It looks like a disaster now, but remember, you guys, God is in control. Yes, we make a mess, but God is still in control, okay? So I encourage everyone who's affected by this pandemic crisis to find peace. I know this may sound crazy. People say, how are you going to find peace in the midst of this storm? 
well that's where the peace is usually found in a storm okay um i believe you know what i'm saying it's been working for me you know i'm not a preacher or none of that but i'm just you know i believe in the power of because of how my life and how i had to go and pray and you know how things happen for me so today i encourage all people to find that peace and then understanding but first peace because when you get peace it's like it gives you another thing of confidence in this world okay when you have peace you have confidence in this world okay um for the most part you should i hope that the uh, grandparents that are in nursing home who were just affected by this as well find peace and we give them peace by checking on them and letting them know and reminding them they're not alone and everything is going to be okay we all have a job to do y'all we all have to coexist and we all have to help each other it's not just the me me me's world uh me 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 world is getting us nowhere you know what i mean we have to still coexist god created everybody uh in a very very beautiful way in a very very beautiful image and we still have to coexist and help each other so the ones who are jobless you will get a job again you you will you will be all right but the most important part is you find you um what haven't you been had time to do that you wanted to do now that you have the opportunity work on your talent your your skills learn how to cook uh teach your kids love your kids Spend time with your man. Your man need to spend time with you. You feel what I'm saying? That's stuff that we didn't have time to do and that we have time. So I think that instead of always looking at stuff as a crisis, we need to look at the positive income so we can find some sort of peace and then understanding, okay? Take a break from social media. Not really social media, the media, the news, because their, their job is to do their job and it's whatever agenda they're pushing, that's their job. But we have, you know... We have the power to, you know, take in or take, let out whatever we want. So I pray today that most of you, if not all, are equipped with peace and then understanding. But first, peace. It's a real thing, y'all. Um, you can only get that if you just want it. You know what I mean? So um, I just wanted to drop the message about peace. I pray everybody has peace and stay fearless. This will not last. And the longer it lasts, what are we going to do? Don't be angry. Learn, grow, survive, you know, study, get more knowledge about life, uh, about crisis, and about you. You know what I mean? Use this time to be wise, to be smart. Um, that's it, man. I just pray for all of you. I encourage all of you and encourage me. Y'all be blessed. Stay up.